Money management is tricky, even for the smartest among us. Did you know that nearly 80% of lottery winners go broke within five years? Or that 60% of Harvard MBA graduates admit to making major money mistakes? It's not just about how much you know. It's about how you manage what you have. Why do so many bright minds fail at money management? The reasons might surprise you. In this video, we'll uncover the hidden traps and common mistakes that lead to financial losses. From the dangers of overconfidence to the pitfalls of emotional investing, we'll dive deep into the reasons why even the smartest people lose money. We'll also share practical strategies to avoid these mistakes. You'll learn how to spot the signs of lifestyle inflation, understand the power of compounding, and steer clear of get-rich-quick schemes. This isn't just about avoiding losses, it's about mastering the art of wealth. Stick around to discover how you can outsmart these common money management pitfalls and secure your financial future. Let's get started. Chapter 1. The Overconfidence Trap Overconfidence can be a silent killer of wealth. Imagine being so sure of your knowledge that you ignore potential risks. This happens to smart people all the time. They think they know more than they do, leading them to take unnecessary risks. For instance, Studies show that overconfident investors trade 45% more frequently than those who aren't. This constant trading often results in lower returns due to transaction fees and poor timing. Warren Buffett, one of the world's most successful investors, once said, The stock market is designed to transfer money from the active to the patient. Yet, overconfident investors believe they can beat the market consistently. This belief can lead them to ignore sound advice and proven strategies. They rely too much on their intuition and gut feelings. Interestingly, a study by Barbara Nodian found that overconfident investors earned 3% less annually than their less confident counterparts. This shows that confidence without a solid foundation can be detrimental. It's crucial to remain humble and aware of your limitations. Remember, the market doesn't care about your intelligence. It rewards discipline and patience. Chapter 2. The Fallacy of Sunk Costs the sunk cost fallacy is a common trap that even smart people fall into. This psychological phenomenon makes people stick to losing investments because they've already invested time or money. For example, if you've poured money into a failing stock, you might be tempted to hold on hoping it will rebound. But often, this just leads to greater losses. Richard Thaler, a Nobel Prize winning economist, explains this well. The sunk cost fallacy is when people throw good money after bad, continuing an endeavor because of previously invested resources. This mindset can be disastrous in money management. Instead of cutting losses, intelligent individuals often keep investing, hoping to recover their losses. Data supports this. A study by Arcs and Bloomer found that people are more likely to continue with a project if they've already invested heavily in it, regardless of the future benefits. This is why it's essential to evaluate investments based on future potential, not past costs. Recognize when it's time to let go and move on to more promising opportunities. Chapter 3. Analysis Paralysis Smart people love to analyze data, but sometimes this leads to analysis paralysis, where they overthink and can't make a decision. This can be costly. In the fast-paced world of finance, timing is crucial. Hesitating too long can mean missing out on great opportunities. According to Barry Schwartz, author of The Paradox of Choice, having too many options can overwhelm us, leading to decision fatigue. This is especially true for intelligent individuals who want to make the perfect choice. They end up gathering too much information and struggle to act. Statistics show that overanalyzing can reduce investment returns. A study from the Journal of Economic Behavior and Organization found that investors who overanalyze tend to earn 2% less annually than those who make quicker decisions. It's important to trust your research and make timely decisions. To overcome analysis paralysis, set clear criteria for your investments. Know when to stop gathering information and start acting. Trust your preparation and avoid getting stuck in endless loops of data. Remember, in investing, sometimes the best decision is a timely one. Chapter 4. Lifestyle Inflation Lifestyle inflation is a sneaky problem. As people earn more, they tend to spend more. Even smart people fall into this trap. They think higher income means they can afford more luxuries, but this can prevent them from saving and investing enough for the future. For instance, a study by the Bureau of Labor Statistics found that households earning more than $150,000 a year spend 60% more on non-essential items than those earning $50,000. This shows how lifestyle inflation can creep up on anyone. Even the smartest people can overspend without realizing it. Author Thomas J. Stanley in his book The Millionaire Next Door points out that many millionaires live frugally and save diligently. 
they avoid lifestyle inflation by sticking to a budget. This helps them accumulate wealth over time. Smart people should take a page from their book and be mindful of their spending habits. To combat lifestyle inflation, create a budget and stick to it. Prioritize saving and investing over splurging on luxuries. Remember, it's not about how much you make, but how much you keep. Keeping your expenses in check can help you build lasting wealth. Chapter 5. Ignoring the Power of Compounding Compounding is a powerful tool for building wealth, but many smart people underestimate its potential. They think they have plenty of time to invest later. This leads to procrastination, which can cost them dearly in the long run. Albert Einstein called compound interest the eighth wonder of the world. He understood its incredible power. For example, investing on $1,000 at a 7% annual return will grow to 7,612 in 40 years. But if you wait 10 years to start, the same investment will only grow to $3,860. This shows how important it is to start early. A report by the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, FINRA, found that 37% of Americans start saving for retirement after age 35. This delay significantly reduces their potential savings. Smart people should recognize the value of starting early and take advantage of compounding. To harness the power of compounding, start investing as soon as possible. Even small amounts can grow significantly over time. Make regular contributions to your investments and let compounding work its magic. The earlier you start, the more wealth you can accumulate. Chapter 6. The Allure of Quick Wins The promise of quick wins can be tempting. Even smart people fall for get-rich-quick schemes. They see high returns and think they can outsmart the market. But these schemes often lead to significant losses. A study by the North American Securities Administrators Association, NASA, found that 80% of investors who fall for get-rich-quick schemes lose their money. This shows how risky these investments can be. Even the smartest people can be deceived by the promise of easy money. Financial expert Dave Ramsey warns against these schemes, saying, the only people who get rich quick are those selling the idea. Instead of chasing quick wins, smart people should focus on long-term strategies. This involves patience and discipline. To avoid get-rich-quick schemes, do thorough research before investing. Stick to proven investment strategies and avoid high-risk, high-reward temptations. Remember, building wealth takes time and effort. Focus on steady long-term growth instead of quick, uncertain gains. Chapter 7. Emotional Investing Emotions can cloud judgment, even for the smartest investors. Fear and greed are powerful forces that can lead to poor decisions. When the market is volatile, it's easy to let emotions take over. This often results in buying high and selling low, which is the opposite of a sound investment strategy. A study by Dalbar Inc. found that the average investor underperforms the market by nearly 6% annually due to emotional decisions. This shows how emotions can drastically impact returns. Even the smartest people are not immune to these effects. Warren Buffett advises, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. This highlights the importance of staying rational and not letting emotions drive your investments. It's crucial to have a clear plan and stick to it, regardless of market fluctuations. One way to combat emotional investing is to set predefined rules. For example, decide in advance when to buy or sell based on objective criteria, not emotions. This can help you stay disciplined and avoid making rash decisions in the heat of the moment. Keeping a long-term perspective is also key to staying calm during market turbulence. Chapter 8. The Myth of Multitasking Diversification is often touted as a key investment strategy. However, spreading yourself too thin can dilute your focus and lead to suboptimal results. While it's important to avoid putting all your eggs in one basket, excessive diversification can be counterproductive. A study by Morningstar found that owning more than 20 different stocks does not significantly reduce risk compared to owning $20. This suggests that after a certain point, adding more investments does not provide additional benefits. Instead, it can make managing your portfolio more complicated and time-consuming. Peter Lynch, a famous investor, once said, Diversification is a protection against ignorance. It makes little sense if you know what you are doing. This emphasizes the importance of investing in what you understand. Concentrating on a few well-researched investments can often yield better results than over-diversifying. To optimize your portfolio, focus on quality over quantity. Choose a manageable number of investments that you understand well. This allows you to monitor and adjust your portfolio more effectively. Remember, the goal is to balance risk and reward, not to own as many assets as possible. Chapter 9. The Importance of Adaptability In the ever-changing world of finance, adaptability is crucial. 
Rigidly sticking to one strategy can lead to missed opportunities and increased risks. The market evolves and so should your approach. Smart people sometimes fail to adapt, thinking their strategy will always work. John Maynard Keynes famously said, When the facts change, I change my mind. What do you do, sir? This quote underscores the need for flexibility in investing. Being adaptable allows you to respond to new information and changing market conditions effectively. A study by Vanguard found that investors who adjust their strategies based on market conditions achieve higher returns than those who do not. This highlights the importance of being proactive and responsive. Sticking to a single strategy can be detrimental, especially in a dynamic market. To stay adaptable, regularly review and assess your investment strategy. Be open to new ideas and approaches. Keep learning and stay informed about market trends and economic indicators. Flexibility can help you navigate the complexities of the financial world and seize opportunities as they arise.